guys, my Epic Elite Games here, and welcome back to a brand new uh, standing up vlog. Where today we are going to be talking about YouTube entertainment. <laughs> this is uh, going to be a video uh, just based on um, what's happening with you, not what's happening with YouTube, but uh, more of the sporting side of it. So, obviously, obviously we have the boxing matches. Uh, Jake Paul versus the decent game. Now I'm going to just t talk about an overview uh, and my opinion of the uh, Gibbon versus Jake Paul fight. I personally believe the the fight between them it was a it was a it was a it was a clean fight. Um, even though uh, <laughs> even though a decent Gib um, obviously. Uh, we're just <laughs> we're crouching. I mean, <laughs> nah, for real, are you just crouching? Are you just doing some squats? Oh, oh! <laughs> you just doing loads of squats and all that. Uh, yeah, he just slipped in his ass, <laughs> slipped in his ass. You know, basically, all Jake Paul did right. He was just doing some squats and he was doing some of a gym workout. Jake Paul literally just went, nah, just, you know, just, just jabbed him, bang, 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 or whatever. I'm not a boxer. <laughs> Don't fucking roast me in the comments, please. But, yeah, anyways, uh, he just picked, it's what you call picked him off. You know, picked him off using his uh, shots, shots and uh, hooks and combinations. And, uh, yeah. I believe, Jake, I've got to give credit where credit is due. Jake Paul is a not bad boxer. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying that he's like a, a proper boxer, but he he's starting to um, get into the sport of uh, boxing. Now, to be credit, uh, to be fair to him, you know, he did get uh, trained by uh, what do you call it, um, Shane Mosley, who was a uh, a very well known and uh, one of the the best boxers going. He made uh, he's won uh, many world titles and all that. I'll say I don't know what titles he's won that like, because I'm not. I'll say I'm not a, a boxing fan, but uh, you know uh, he's apparently he's well known and he he Jake he trained Jake Paul and I believe all because of the experience from uh, uh, Sugar Shane Mosley. That is why. Uh, Jake Paul won the fight against Anise and Gibb. I'm going to be talking about Gibb's failures during the fight. First of all, his uh, his levels were pretty low. Uh, well, obviously when you're boxing, he was all, all the way down here. Jake Paul's up here. You know, he's just picking, going, <laughs> or whatever. You know, he was just he was just jab, 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 jab. You know, he was like jab, hook, jab, hook. You know, like uh, you know, he was like this, <laughs> like. Oh shit! Basically, he was fighting like this, like, like, always, always stepping back, always stepping back, or whatever. Like he was always moving back, moving back. You know what I'm saying? He's always on that back foot. He's never going. He's never going forward. He's he's always on the back foot, moving around the ring, moving around the ring. Now, <clears throat> what what Anise and Gibb did, you know, he was he was he was he was ducking diving, but he was like low. He was like proper low because what his game plan was was to weave, bob weave, bob weave, bob weave, right? And eventually he'll do his. You know, he, he'll go like wild, you know, because <coughs> with, you know, with, uh, with, um, what do you call it, Anise and Gibbs fighting style, it was pretty embarrassing, especially versus Jay Swingley, you know, he'll fight like this, like, <gasps> like I don't know, it he, he was like, it's like he was dragging his feet along the thing, and he was going, <laughs> You know, he he's, he's a good pressure fighter, but I feel like with them knockdowns, you know, whether he went to cost the ropes and everything, I reckon that, you know, he should have gained his feet, you know. Oof. 
I reckon, I reckon, right, what Edison Gibb needed to do, because he, he was getting past that jab pretty easily, what he needed to do was run around him, you know, he, obviously in boxing, you know, you can't just be staying in one position, otherwise you're going to get knocked the fuck out, you know what I'm saying, you go, You're going to get to be slaughtered. I don't know why I clap there. Yeah. So you need to be constantly on the move. On the move. High feet. High feet. Or, or whatever. Whatever the flipping hell you do in boxing. Good. <laughs> I'm just making a mockery of myself, man. God. Anyway, yeah. So he, he should be using his head movement, you know, using his body movement, trying to like, I'm, I'm not saying running away from him, but trying to like, you know, get his distance, you know, just use the jab, you know, use the jab, 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 you know, avoid his punches, you know, really like uh, get his technique, you know, use his, use, his, use his full power, you know what I'm saying? But uh, making, making him the uh, space between the target, I reckon for the rest of round, round one, you know, he should be using his space, using his jab, and moving around the ring. You know, not running away from Jake Paul, but trying to, because, obviously, the one most highlight, the reason why, the, re the main reason why uh, Jake Paul won the fight is because, uh, what do you call it, Edison Gibb uh, got banged straight on the forbidden temple, and he, he wasn't out for the count, but uh, he rumbled in for a little bit, but I think... To give it, kept his distance, you know, round two recovered, and then, you know, halfway round two, you know, got his distance again, then, and then started drawing in, you know, just like he did at the start of the fight, started drawing in, you know, doubling him, you know, and then, just like, just fully, just uh, going like an animal, you know what I'm saying, you know, just proper beat the shit out of him so he can win that round, then round three, round four, and then by round five. He would he would have won it by uh, going to distance, in my opinion, or round six. He, I don't think he would have uh, survived until uh, round six. I don't know. But obviously, we can't really do that much of analysis of the Jake Paul fight. Obviously, Jake Paul won. He was a victor. Now, what does this lead to? The YouTube entertainment. Obviously, we. Uh, we we may we we may have another fame MMA event, uh, basically fame MMA uh, team with YouTube to uh, you know put these you, these like crappy YouTubers on a an MMA event and uh, they basically scrapped in the cage, and uh, yeah it, it was a it was a a, a, a a poor performing event to be honest, but MMA I think there should be another MMA. Um, what do you call it? Another MMA event. So it's like Fame MMA, but a lot more better. You know, get get it professional. Get Eddie Hearn or uh, Fight TV or The Zone or Sky Sports in on the action. And I think, well, they should have a YouTuber only event. You know, and uh, make it buddy worth count. So I mean, JMX and uh, what do you call it? Logan Paul in the future. I think that should be the main card. And uh, any other YouTubers, you know, that want to scrap, you know, with M the MMA uh, rules and everything, then uh, I think they should just go for bingo for it. Uh, also, another boxing match is uh, KSI versus Jake Paul Bossy. They had their mini square up thing, uh, you know, going on. They had a mini square up, so I think that would be a good fight. But this is also what I want to be talking about. I do not believe... I believe that, uh, what do you call it, it should be a, a YouTuber pro fighting event. I don't believe it should be a pro boxing event with other heavyweight or whatever titles on, on the undercard, like Billy Joe Saunders and all that. I, I personally think it should, that Jake Paul versus Lee uh, Gibbs should have been the last fight because there's several, there's several other YouTubers that want to box this. Uh, uh, Antonio Brown versus Logan Paul. Antonio Brown was an NFL 
uh, rugby player in America, and obviously, you know, he wants to scrap Logan. Obviously, they made diss tracks and all that, so I reckon that fight's going to happen. Also, we got KSI versus Jake Paul. I think it should be another YouTube main card. Get uh, Deji uh, wants to fight again. You know, he he keeps piping up saying he wants to have a have a scrap once again. So I reckon he should fight Edison Gibb. No, actually, I think he should fight Joe Well. I don't I don't know, man. I think Joe Weller deserves another chance. You know, he... Benji got defeated. Uh, Joe Weller got defeated. Joe Weller hasn't been in the ring. But I feel like Joe Weller needs to make a comeback. Now, he was absolutely useless. Well, he wasn't useless against Jake Paul. But, you know, it, 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 wasn't, very, it wasn't a very successful scrap, to say the least. So I believe... Deji, right... Loses loses weight. Obviously, I'm I'm very tubby on. Obviously, I'm not going to show it on camera. I'm very tubby and porky side in the moment. But uh, obviously, I, I've not got nothing to train for. But there's no excuse for uh, Deji to be in the ring again. He lasted until round five with Jake, and I I think in the future they should have a rematch after KSI. That's why that's why I believe. I think he, I think Deji should fight Jake. I mean, uh, uh, Joe Weller to prove himself because I believe that's a, a very good matchup. I still say to this day that's a very good matchup, and uh, yeah, and Ethan Gibb. I feel like with an Ethan Gibb, it would be an amazing fight. But I feel like it would be the same as Jay Swingler versus an Ethan Gibb. It's just flipping battery war. It was a lot of the heart that went into that fight, but Gibb. You know, came out victorious on a, I think it was a point decision, I think, or the TKO, TKO. But you've got to think, I think Deji, I think their ego, not egos, I think their fighting styles will clash. And I, I don't think, you know, we we want to switch you up, you know, you only want to see what, you know, Joe Weller's got back in his locker, you know what I'm saying? So I think that should, fight should happen. So I think there's three fights that could potentially go on YouTube, but I think for the finale, of YouTube boxing, we should have another YouTube event. There's no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with having uh, uh, pro pro events. Uh, what do you call it? On you know the zone and Sky Sports. But I feel like the boxing fans are getting too pissed off. They just keep saying, "Boo, it's a mockery for the sport." Now, I can confirm. I believe it is a mockery for the sport. You know, you see all these uh, uh, professionals. You know, been training for years. Having fights after fights after fights after fights, working their ass off and getting punched in the face. They've been through the they've been through the trenches and uh, damn right, you know they've been through the trenches. And I think it's time, uh, you know, YouTubers. The thing is, right, KSI, he's, he's not that much of a good boxer. Ne neither is neither is many of the YouTubers. Like, well, I believe. I believe KSI will mother uh, Jake Paul, me personally, because we don't know what, what Jake's really like. We've already seen like a, a couple of minutes of fighting footage and that's about it. But I reckon, you know, KSI, they, they have the height, height, weight advantage and all that. Anyway, that, that, I reckon that fight should happen. I'm, I'm talking about, uh, I'm just talking about the principles of why it shouldn't be a, a pro uh, event with heavyweights on the on the undercard we've done it that many several times i feel like people's not going to be interested anymore you know we need a classic youtube event it's making the mockery for the sport you know it's it's because the, these youtubers they're still amateurs they're still amateurs fighters they're nowhere near as good as pro boxers and that's why you know it, it, the thing is a piss take um that the the just these hardcore boxing fans, you know, they, they think it's a mockery for the sport. You know, they, they don't believe that yeah, YouTubers, you know, should be given a chance. But I, I disagree with that, man. I, I feel like I feel like now and again, you know, it, it's it, it does, it's not harming anyone, is it? But at the end of the day, uh, I feel like we, uh, with all the criticisms and all that, I feel like I think it'd be I think it'd be the best decision to make for YouTubers. Only to have a professional, uh, what do you call it, event. No, no, no head guards and all that. And yeah, let's let's try to make it happen. Three boxing matches and everything in the future. And yeah.
I'm just going to title this, this video YouTube Entertainment because you know what it, it's covered MMA it's covered boxing as well and uh, yeah I just thought I'd give my opinions on the Gibb vs uh, Jake Paul fight and uh, yeah um as far as this outro of this video I'm going to show you guys uh, some memes let's uh I'll be right back Right, I'm just gonna take a look at some food me by <laughs> Definitely chilling. Right, this is the first one. Like in like mass in like a mass related way. Miss. I'm asking a question, school. Miss, what is the name of the mass related way? Yes, sensible question. Yeah, sensible question. <laughs> what would you do if a big black guy put his thing inside you? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Like, that's the way in a way. This is this is uh, from the uh, this is from the Gib and the Anissa the Gib uh, press uh, Jake Paul vs Anissa and Gib press conference. <laughs> I was gonna play it, man. <laughs> that's that's a question we want to know because I've got we don't want to say it now, but I've following. But how big are your bollocks? <laughs> that, that's that's a question we want to know because I've got we don't want to say it now, but I've following. But how big are your bollocks? How big are your bollocks? <laughs> <laughs> that is the reason why I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my mouth, you know, something in my name. No, I'm fine. My name is... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to use Jesus. 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 Yeah. Look at my mouth, you know, something in my name. No, I'm fine. Don't worry about them. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes, lad. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention it. Uh, <laughs> Well, especially speaking of a supplier, actually, I was in school the other day, <laughs> and uh, I had this, uh, I think it was like, Jamaican, uh, flipping, um, what do you call it, supply teacher anyway, just talking to uh, uh, some people behind me about whatever, I can't remember what it was, so I kept getting told off for talking, apparently, because everyone's been, been boffins and been quiet and getting on with the work and all that, I couldn't be bothered, you know, supplies and all that, anyway... <laughs> I literally pulled up the phone yet, then silent. I literally just started playing the porn up intro. <laughs> oh my god, good time. <laughs> just started playing the fucking porn up intro, man. <laughs> the fucking <I've> chilling. <laughs> oh man, anyway. I'm going to move on to TikTok now. Yes, I do have a TikTok. Please don't follow me, but uh, yeah, we're just going to load, up, load this up real quick and. Yeah, I'm going to show you some funny uh, TikTok memes now. <laughs> I don't know, I've just been scrolling the uh, TikTok web again and uh, I might just come across some uh, TikTok cringe or whatever, I don't know. Right, I'm just going to go to uh, the light ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> let's do this one first. Oh yeah, yeah. I just thought it was cool. It makes your eyes like proper weird. I say epilepsy. You know, I don't mean be watching. Oh, oh, bitches, why don't you smack my bottom? Yeah. Yeah, it's like he's right by. You're oh, it's all right for the girl to be a little bit cheeky. You know, saying. Soon as the boy does it. Yes, it's all rest with you, big little cheese! Bro, that is literally jokes because literally I could. I live near there. I say I don't live in Rotherham, obviously. But, uh. <laughs> yeah! But, uh, Key Wolf TV will probably know. <laughs> He'll get the reference, he'll get the reference. Basically, uh, in incest in the United Kingdom, oh my god. Right, I just want to play this one as well. But, but, but a, bit, a bit of backstory, this guy actually finessed his, his way in, basically. Yeah, I'll just play it, but yeah, it's pretty damn cool. This guy, man. Hey, your boss, man, can I have ten pound notes? <laughs> He's giving the die quid. Uh, 
Uh, me, snipe out some pretty extra parts. So what? <laughs> That's the next one. Yeah. What, 10 mil, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As your nice old book, can I have 20 pound up, please? Uh, cheers, bro. <laughs> No, I was like, I'll tell you what happened, yeah, if you don't, if you didn't get it, basically, he give him nine pound, yeah, and he's like, oh, yeah, there, there you go, bro, uh, here's ten quid, yeah, so he basically pays ten pound of uh, his real money, yeah, so he, he gets the ten pound in, in back, yeah, but the, t the, the ten pound that he paid, and the the ten pound he'd give him is like, oh yeah, take that uh, twenty twenty pound note, boom. He literally just made a tenner by literally doing nothing. Oh, that's class. Absolute gas this song, but the uh, best of you songs on TikTok yet. Yeah, let's go, champ. <laughs> basically, basically, you're just gonna, you know, sit down, enjoy some adult movie action, and then, you know, you're just making out that. But your mum uh, come, uh, comes home back from work early, you know, repeated the song, think, shit, I can't watch, you know what? Three, two, one.